And welcome back to Holden Skolden Age of Wargaming with part three of our Battle of the Seminara, uh, 28th of June, 1495. Okay, so we're back to being the French, and uh, I think I've explained most of the things that will happen in this turn, so I'm going to try to do both sides in one video. Uh, wish me luck. Uh, the one thing I did notice is that the uh, Kingdom of Naples, unlike the French, doesn't seem to have any supply wagons. So I'm assuming if uh, units, are, if their units get low on ammo or out of ammo, I'm going to have to pull them back to within five hexes of these supplies here. So that's that's obviously a, a detriment. Okay, let's get going here. So, if we look at the situation, the cavalry, I don't think our crossbow infantry are going to enjoy taking on that cavalry. So, what we really want to deal with the cavalry is this pike infantry. But we only have two of them. We only have two, so I think what I'm going to do is we need to get our reinforcements. We need, we really need the Swiss, the Swiss mercenaries that uh, the uh, French army here employs. Uh, so I'm going to move the pike up onto the slope. These uh, these ones here uh, to try to dissuade the uh, cavalry from charging us to I think they might be a little too far away but what are we going to do we need to form we're obviously not going to get to the stream as history as what happened in history so I'm going to try to form a line right here so this woods obviously the cavalry is not going to want to go in there so we got so we're going to go here I don't think I'll go in the line yet. Um, but then, it, well. And the other thing is the cavalry will be disordered. But if I go further up, I just get further and further away from those pikemen. And I really would like to have them. So we're going to stay here. And we're going to stay here. We might as well form into a line. So. Uh, to form a line, you just go up here, you click Change Formation, and we can now see that they are, the graphic, of course, on the uh, counter changes, showing they're in a line, and we're just going to keep on doing that, just not quite, so we'll go here, and then we're going to turn, we might not be able to form a line, no, nope, movement allowance has ex been exceeded. And then these guys are going to do the same thing. We'll go here. That way we're already facing the right way. And we'll change to a line. You can also see if there are, for example, if the counters are under a leader. You can see down here that they have formed a line. Um, and we'll go here. We'll turn once. Actually, we should turn twice. Once again, we don't have enough. But I'm not worried about it because I know the... If the cavalry come across the stream, they will be disordered. It's not like they're going to attack us this turn. So now we need to shift this force over. But I really want the pikemen. <laughs> I want them here, actually. So we're going to go like this. And that's a big, big problem. They're very slow. So we're going to put them to here. For now, I guess they'll form that they'll go there on the line. Um, looking at the command radius, that's right. I'm supposed to do Q, then C on the keyboard, thereby showing the groups and the command range. All right, over we go. We're going to go here because the pikemen are going to come in here on the line. And we will switch to. I'm probably being overly cautious, but. Uh, I just don't think these crossbow infantry, I mean, they'll be fine against the uh, Stradiotes, the light cavalry of, of the Kingdoms of Naples employees, but uh, 
that heavy cavalry cavalry will uh it's not gonna be that much fun. So we'll go up here. We can't form as well. We definitely need these guys. Ooh, that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to change who the leader is, I guess. But I want the leader. I'd like the brigade commander to be with the pikemen too. Uh, to give them that attack bonus. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna move this supply wagon over here. I'm gonna move this supply wagon up here. And we're gonna move on over. Now I don't we're basically holding, waiting for re our reinforcements. And next turn we have a 65% chance of getting our artillery on the board, which will help as well. The uh, enemy cavalry will not like that. Um, this division leader, come up, come up. Yeah, this is a problem. This is not nice. The so I'm going to have to do something with the brigade leaders here. They're going to have to. Let's do this. Let's do this. I don't think this. They'll move over here. And then if we move up one, we have all the brigade commanders. Now I'm still not quite sure. So this guy's detached, this leader. This one was detached, but this guy here wasn't detached. Now I don't see any effects on his rating, which is terrible. God, everybody's terrible here. These troops suck. God. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So supply wagons, I think our supply wagons are covering everything. I think we're done. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. So maybe French are being too cautious here, but uh, I have a feeling that if we rushed up full tilt, I don't think we'd like the results. So, and if we can get them to the Kingdom of Naples and the Spanish to come down towards us, it'll be closer to our end of the of the battlefield where our reinforcements will be much closer. So uh, if they want to try to initiate combat like it looks like like they do, we might as well try to make things as best as we can to our advantage. All right, so I'm going to end the turn. Have I forgotten anything? Don't think so. Don't think. All right, so end turn, melee, no melee. We're now on to the Spanish, or sorry, the Kingdom of Naples. Um, all right, look at this. I'm going to do both sides of one video. Congratulate me, congratulate me. All right, so we need to get the cavalry across. So here we go. So I don't think we want to be right on the edge of the board through. <clears throat> For these stratiotes, so let's just take a look here. They're armed with javelins. Oops. It's not what I want. I want this. And I want this. Uh, so there's a javelin. So it's got a 3.5. And then where's the crossbows? Six. So that means, from what I can tell, that the crossbow at a range of one would do almost double the damage that the javelins would. And that would be based for the Stratiotes with their javelins, 100 men to a unit times 3.5 versus 300 men with crossbows with a six attack. So <clears throat> the Stratiotes do not want to be rushing uh, head, head on into the uh, French crosswomen, from what I can tell there. Uh, so we're going to move across the stream. And as we do that, because we cross the stream, we now have this beautiful red lettering over our unit saying disorder. So hopefully they'll be able to recover. So over come these guys. Uh, I guess we should move. I don't want to get too close, but the French, having formed the line, they've kind of tipped their hand. They're being cautious. So we're going to move forward here, forward here. These guys are going to come down. We need to get, to get get that leader there. Now he comes. So they're all disordered. And 
there's a lot of handy little helps here. So if you go to highlight, for example, when you have big battles, leave this little unhappy face will show disorder to you. So if you which which units in my army are disordered? Click that. And there you go. You see that these units are all disordered. That these here being orange, I believe means that I have no idea what that means. They're not detached. They're not disordered. So why are they orange? This is just showing me that they are the leaders. So I'm not quite sure. However, for the disordered units, they're in yellow. So if you're at, a, at a touch of a button, you can tell which units are disordered. You can also, uh, which ones are fired, which ones have moved, which ones are fixed, which of course would be those ones we have around our objective hexes. Uh, you have high fatigue, which we haven't covered yet, but we won't until someone we start to get that. Isolated units, so that's a unit that gets cut off by the enemy units. Uh, that's, there's a bunch of bad effects of that. We'll go over that when that happens. Low no ammo, I've already talked about. Uh, spotted units, of course, everything's been spotted. Uh, supply wagons, I guess. If you click that, we'll see that, yeah, they're there and they're fixed. Which is a, that's a logistical problem for the uh, Kingdom of Naples. So That's going to be a problem, having to pull our troops back when they're loaded with ammo, all the way back to five hexes of these supply wagons. I wonder if we get some for reinforcements. Uh, the org, of course, I've already covered. And I don't understand this one, commanded units. I don't know what that means. Don't, don't understand that one as of yet. Um, so anyways, back to our forces. So we've come across the river. Uh, we could get a little bit closer. Let's see here. They have, what, 18 movement. And they could come, they could come up technically, so we don't want to get too close. So, uh, what do we have here? Those are our dragoons. What's our command radius? Let's get back to our defaults here. So we can go anywhere. I'm just, we're in the way of this force coming down. Of course we are. Let's do... One, two, three, four. That's 12 movement. I mean, he could technically come shoot at us. We'll go like that. Okay. Uh, what's going to be next? I guess this unit here. So, And we're all in. We're going across the stream. So here we go. Now these are infantry and they're in column. So when they're in column, I believe, yes, we can go across the stream. We do not disorder, but if we were in line formation, um, we would, we would disorder. So we're gonna cross here like this. How much movement do they have left? Five. And you're gonna come down. All right. Um, we technically could go further, but I don't think we will. I think we'll just form our line there. And then here we have more. So let's see how far down can we get. Can't quite get across. So we're kind of clustering up here. But next turn, well, here's the issue though. Uh, we don't know. It's only a certain chance, and these. Cavalry quality D, quality C. So they do have the commander with them, but he's oh, oh. see now here this guy has a C rating of C and then D. Now was he a rating D originally? And he's rating C because the army commander is giving him a bonus. That's what I'm thinking is happening there. So, anyways, with that C, I think that will help. That will, of course, help these units here rally back from disorder. But we will not know for sure who has rallied back until the beginning of our next turn. All right, so that's as far as we can go. But he's in his... Everybody's within command. So now we're left with these guys here. And I'm not sure what to do with these guys. Oh. 
thought it would help if we brought him down. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. All right, right. Okay, so now we're here. We got more dragoons, more stratiotes, and another smaller lance. Looks like these are lancers, heavy cavalry. Uh, so we'll bring them down. Yeah, yeah. We still have plenty of movement, but we're kind of nice to get these guys across the stream. But it's a little bit of a cluster, you know what, right now here. Um, okay. Uh, we're going to move up the guns up onto the hill. Ooh, that took six movement. And then we'll move down here. We need to turn them, so counterclockwise. And that's, I think, where we want our gun. And then we want the other gun there as well. It's not going to be able to do that this time. All it's going to have to do is turn, though, so I think I'll be able to unlimber both of the guns next turn and get them ready to set up to fire. And I do have a little bit of a gap here. Through, I guess, once again, it shouldn't matter, I don't think, because I'm up on the slopes. So these troops are down below us. So we should be able to shoot them, but uh, I won't know for sure until they've been set up. All right, we're all in here, so cross we go. But we don't want to get, I guess there's still quite a bit of distance. We do not want to get into combat in column, of course. We want to switch to line. Okay, so that's that group. And this group, let's head down. Form our line. Down we go. Still a bit of a gap. Now that divisional leader, he needs to come down so that both of those brigades, he doesn't have to quite cross the stream yet. So Cordona, he's going to stay right there, safely behind the stream. Uh, then we're going to come over here again guess with this group is what we're trying to do so let's go and we're gonna get just to the stream I'd say oh yeah these guys are slower just inside the command radius once again I think I'm over probably overdoing it because being detached at this point won't matter I don't believe that's not going to affect anything. It's only when we come into combat. Um, I think that's it. That's it. The army commander, if we zoom out. Oh, yeah, he's still in some room. So, that is it for the Kingdom of Naples and Spain. Or, well, just the Kingdom of Naples. Now, I do believe we're at 1015. If we look at the... Uh, Oh, if we look at the report here and we look at uh, reinforcements. So next turn, there's a 65% chance the French will get their artillery. And that will definitely, uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll end this video by clicking to the next turn to see if the French get their artillery or not. But there's a 100% chance that we're going to get, the Spanish are going to start showing up. And this must be their cavalry. Let's say, can I double click? Yep. Yeah, so it's two leaders, an army leader, a division leader, and two units of cavalry. And what's the other one? Two more units of cavalry. Okay, so the Spanish are going to start showing up, and we'll have them come over to the far. We'll try to flank the French with the cavalry coming behind this way. Uh, that's, that's my plan anyways. But I think that is it. And then, of course, we're going to have to see who rallies of these of these cavalry units who's going to rally how many of them rally that's going to decide things for us do <clears throat> really it's just this heavy cavalry that could really do anything because the uh stratiotes we do not want them running up and facing the crossbow uh infantry of the french i don't think that i don't think it would go well we need to try to get around 
or punch a hole in their line with this heavy cavalry. Of course, we've got to be careful because that's a lot of victory points we're playing around with there that we don't want to give the French. All right, so I'm going to hit the end turn. No melee, of course. And then I'm going to hit it once more, and we'll end the video with seeing if the French get their artillery or not. So let's see. It says reinforcements have arrived. So you're now on A turn. And when you have reinforcements arrived, you just go up to the report. And I believe it is arrived. Yes, that makes sense. Click on it. And we see here that, and I'll save it here, we have artillery. What do we have? We have... Four guns of culverins, three falcons, uh, six falcons. Culverin is a new gun. So what do we got here? Oh, yeah, that thing's got a raise of 16. Okay, so that's definitely the biggest guns on the battlefield. We're going to want to get them set up. We need to get them set up in such a situation where they're protected from the enemy cavalry. We don't want them rushing. Um, anyways, I'll have to figure that out next video. Uh, until next time, guys, I hope, hope you enjoyed it. If you do, make sure you hit that like button and make sure if you would like to keep watching, uh, uh, hit the subscribe button. I, well, hopefully I'll just get better and better and eventually I won't be guessing about anything anymore. So that's, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. Anyways, until next time, guys, take care, have a great night and see you on the flip side.